Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video on the channel that I feel like I need to do because it's talking about the Platinum Edition that Giant Software just released. Now this video, it's a bit different because I'm not going to show in-game footage because I don't have the DLC and I will explain the reasons why I didn't buy this DLC in this video. So the reason... So Giants just recently on the 22nd of October came out with the new Platinum Edition of Farming Simulator. And this DLC is all about the brand Kloss, I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. And there's a wide variety of machines. You get a lot of good tractors, you get five of them, and some loaders, combines, foragers. The one, the... I like the idea of a class DLC. That's not what this video is about. I think it's a great idea. The issue I have is I feel like this DLC should have been done as a separate DLC, possibly, because in previous past, if you look here, the game, whenever a Platinum expansion would come out, this is the 17 version, they would always have added in years past they'd add a new map and usually a new crop such as in 17 sugarcane and i think 15 was sunflowers but don't quote me on that but with this i feel like that they did a nice variety they gave a brand new environment to play on which i think was really good for people who like on console if they wanted something more with adding a crop without having to get a mod if you get what I'm saying and you know they gave a good variety they gave this awesome Massey Ferguson which I wish was a 19 but it's not this they added the Stara brand they added the this awesome lizard convertible and stuff like that is cool where they add just something like that that's more something you can just play around with more and adds that aspect but then they added the Bison Supra which is a pretty good combine and the um, case all this stuff for sugar cane these all this they added a new grain cart which looks pretty good they added this all these cultivators and drills and then if you got the pre-order bonus but the thing is in 19 there's no new map and there's no new crop all it is is these tractors and this stuff by class I personally do not find this appealing in the sense that they are not for it to be a Platinum Edition, I feel like you have to have that new thing that makes the game great. Now, Class is a really good addition, and if they could have just taken a little extra time to make a map or something like that to go along with it, I feel like that would have helped, like, added a German map of some sort, because Class is a German brand. But, I can see why they did this, in a way. I do think that they could have done some better things to make this DLC better. I can't really form a full-on opinion without playing with them myself, but it just seems to me like a bit of a rip-off for $20 because, like, I'm just gonna go to this DLC page. Like, for instance, this DLC, I haven't gotten this yet, but the League, that looks good. The Homer DLC, I like that that was free. Or even this John Deere DLC, I feel like this was a slightly a rip-off. Now, I love the thought a lot of putting in John Deere equipment, a John Deere cotton harvester. But the problem is, this is a repeat of what's in the game already. This is a repeat. I like these the spears, but I mean, five bucks is probably worth it for this. But the thing I, the reason I, I don't like this, is because. You, with this, this machine costs, costs 900,000 in-game dollars. And to me, it's just like, why pay five bucks for something you'll probably never afford in the game when you can buy the $300,000 option. But now the DLC I do like and I actually bought was the Anderson one. This is the first DLC they made this year and it was spot on. It was an amazing DLC and I love it to this day. I mean, they have these nice... Wrappers, the extractors, some feed mixers of different sizes, bale shredders, these awesome stackers. They added the 
It's a cheaper way to do poplars. I think this is a great all-around DLC. It's a good price point for people, and I feel like that was good. But with the class one, I feel like $20 is a lot to ask for that. Like, I feel like if they could have targeted this size of a DLC, like this, the Big Bud DLC from 17, had you got some tractors, equipment, you know, this is a nice balanced size for the... Even the Coon DLC, if I just back up out of this page. This is the one they did in 17.2, and this one was really good. I mean, if you just look, all this stuff they added. And if they could have done a price point like that, I think the DLC would be a little more appealing. But to me, I mean... I mean, it is a lot of stuff. They added 35 things, but it's just... I don't feel like that... It's a platinum edition, unless it has a map. That's probably just my own thing, but I feel like that you have to have a new map or a new animal type or something special that makes the DLC something that people want to buy. That's just me, you know. If you can write down your own opinions of what you think of the DLC down below. I just... To me, it's not worth it. I mean, you're getting... There's some cool stuff I can see, like, but... Like I said, write your own opinions down below in the comments, and until the next video, I will see you all later. Bye, everybody.